television is still the only business in advertising to where every year the audience tend to drop, prices go up, and advertisers still wait in line with their checkbooks. The old way, the traditional way, the core way, the legacy way, however we want to refer to it as, of doing business in television, it's still working and it's still generating a lot of revenue for a lot of various companies. So, so while that is a little bit of a holdout, it's a holdout because why change something if it's working well for you? At the same time, I think the industry is finally ready for television to be just a little bit more targeted, a little bit better measured, and, and, and more accountable, right? I think those, those three factors have, have been in play for a while, and the industry has been longing for those for some time, and we're finally at a point now where the data and the technology, the infrastructure, and the people are finally coming together to where we can deliver that. A lot has changed and a lot has stayed the same. You know, it's, it's, it's very easy for those of us that live on the coast to, to take on the assumption that nobody's watching television in a traditional manner because we see the way in which our children are behaving. But that's not the case for the entire country, right? People still do watch television in its, its linear traditional fashion. So the fact that now as an industry we have to balance consumers that are pure cord cutters and that do not rely on a pay TV provider at all for their television to people that are in the that are somewhere in the middle to people that are that are that still watch um, the four broadcast networks uh, at, at eight o'clock at night so as, as marketers how we connect with those consumers um, is, is is a challenge but it's also an opportunity because the same functionality and the same assets that enable this type of viewing, these new types of viewing patterns, enable us to target it, target and message to consumers in a different way. So we're able to send different commercials to different households. We're able to tie an ad exposure back to the sale of a product or a service. So it goes both ways. You know, yes, the business is fragmented. Yes, consumers are are, are all over the place with their with their viewing habits and their viewing trends. But at the same time, that data the tech and technology that allows them to do that opens the doors for marketers. So I think it's a fair trade, I really do. We're a long way from a single source solution that simplifies everything, but, but that's okay because, because if, you, if you put a little bit of time and you put a little bit of effort, the benefit far outweighs the, the risk. You'll hear in, in, in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours that we're launching our new um, national addressable platform and that is a tool for agencies and advertisers to use that will enable them to make all of these things that we're talking about and debating right now much easier to execute. It'll make it much easier to define an audience. It'll much make it much easier to create a segment. It'll make it easier to execute on that segment. So a lot of what we've all been talking about in the business for a very, very long time is finally coming to fruition across all assets of, of the industry. And that's exciting. There's never a time that I would rather be in this business than today.